as most of the nation knows, so much attention has been given to black boys and men over the past you know, 20 years or so in education research. So it is refreshing that we are now seeing a, a rightful um, inclusion of, of black girls and, and women because they really are pushed out of schools in some uniquely gendered ways that haven't been you know, fully considered. I'm often troubled um, when I hear well-meaning researchers and, and others make the case for um, more focus on black girls and women by um, sort of juxtaposing them with black boys and black men. And, you know, practitioners and policymakers and administrators say, well, we got to do something to better support and improve educational outcomes for boys and young men of color without understanding, again, that the girls of color are just slightly, sometimes not even like a whole percentage point higher. So I'm just hoping that, you know, the case making and the rightful advocacy for, you know, more attention to the uh, experiences and needs and challenges of black girls and women are, are done in a way that, you know, again, doesn't have us, you know, sort of colliding with each other.